Hi, boys and girls. Because we've been working at ordinal numbers, I want us to look at the order of food from the Very Hungry Caterpillar story. We're going to be looking at Saturday, what the caterpillar ate on Saturday, and we're going to be saying the ordinal numbers for each of those foods. What did the caterpillar eat on Saturday? Do you remember what the caterpillar ate on Saturday? He was very hungry, so he ate a lot. First, what did he eat? So everything's already put in order. If you said chocolate cake, you are right. He ate a slice of chocolate cake. First, he ate an ice cream cone. Second, he ate a pickle. Third, he ate a slice of Swiss cheese. Fourth, he ate a slice of salami. Fifth, he ate a lollipop. Six. He ate one slice of pie, seventh. He ate one sausage, eighth. He ate one cupcake, ninth. And he ate one slice of watermelon, tenth. So these were the foods that he ate and he ate them all in this order. And after that, he felt kind of sick. He didn't feel very well. But those are pretty yummy foods, right? So today, boys and girls, your assignment is, I want you to draw all the food items that the caterpillar ate in order. Then I want you to write a number over each food item. When you are done, I want you to circle one food item that is your favorite to eat. So if you don't remember how that looks like, let's go back. I want you to draw each of these food items in order. Then I want you to label the number over them. And I want you to say first, one piece of chocolate cake, second, one ice cream cone, third, one pickle, fourth, one slice of cheese, fifth, one slice of salami, sixth, one lollipop, seventh, one piece of pie, eighth, one sausage, ninth, one cupcake, and tenth, one slice of watermelon. And when you are done, I want you to look and see which of these would you like to eat would be your favorite. And I want you to circle it. So I like watermelons. So I would probably circle the watermelon after I'm done drawing all these. All right, boys and girls, I look forward to seeing your assignment when you are done. You may have your mom and dad take a picture of your drawing and send it to me or email it to me or message to me. And I look forward to seeing it. Goodbye, boys and girls.